hit it. Where's Waldo? Where's Waldo? Justin Trudeau. You seen him around lately? Trust me, you haven't. He's had one press conference in the first week of January, it was billed as a COVID-19 update, and it let his assembled ministers do a lot of talking. He didn't talk as much. And the same thing a week later, COVID talk, ministers present, yawn. And over on his website, it's the same thing. Two, two press releases so far this year. One about Nova Scotia, one about changes in the federal bureaucracy. His office has issued statements on various things, but not a lot. What does it mean? It means Justin Trudeau has made himself less visible and it's paying dividends because nowadays the federal liberal leader is more popular than not. And his main opponent, Aaron O'Toole, is doing very badly. It may be that there's no big strategy at work here. It may simply be that Trudeau's licking his wounds after getting chastened by the election result is off at Harrington Lake. But it's more likely, I think, that Trudeau's brain trust has finally, thankfully, embraced the Chrétien approach to visibility, and it's working. A long, long time ago, when the earth was still young and dinosaurs like me roamed Parliament Hill, I cornered my then boss, the Right Honourable Jean Chrétien. He was leader of the opposition back then, and I was his special assistant. I'm not sure why he kept me around. I think I amused him or something. Back then, I was excited about something in the news. I can't remember what it was, but I saw it as a great opportunity for Chrétien to get into the news and get some media coverage. So Chrétien listened to me, and he was grinning, and he shook his head, and he said, young man, which is what he always said to me when he disagreed with me, I don't need to be in the newspaper every day. I shouldn't be. Mr. Mulroney is in the newspaper every day, and what has it done for him? And it's true. Prime Minister Brian Mulroney was then supported by 12% of Canadian voters. 12%! Chrétien was a big believer in less is more, undersell and overperform. The moral of the tale is that Jean Chrétien is always right. <laughs> the moral of the tale is if you're in politics and people are seeing and hearing you all the time, they're going to get sick of your face. For Justin Trudeau, that's a big, big change. Because remember, back in the early days of his regime, Trudeau was like the Kim Kardashian of Canadian politics. He was like a computer virus. He was everywhere. Cover of Rolling Stone, flirting with Mrs. Trump, documenting every waking moment on Instagram, which is his favorite medium of choice. But now, now, poof, he's gone. He's vanished. And it's working. I'm Warren Kinsella for Sun Media. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to follow us on all your favorite platforms. Hit it. Where's Waldo?